what can you do stylistically in this fight to force more of those types of exchanges that you saw in the first fight? I mean, it's obviously fair to say that in the in the rounds where Marcos was able to get inside on Mayweather and to force him into more action than we're used to seeing him, he did better because that's more of his style and not so much of Floyd's style. But in the rounds where Floyd was able to, to keep distance and, and to box and move effectively, Marcos had a, high, a hard time getting his offense going and a lot of his shots were picked off. So how does he change or adapt stylistically in the second fight to maybe cut the ring off better and make sure that Mayweather is forced into more of those tight spots that favor Maidana's offensive output. Bueno, voy a hacer lo que hice en el primer round que que lo forcé a pelear. Él él caminó, eh, se puso a boxear cuando yo lo dejé porque yo me quedé. Pero ahora como voy a estar bien en eh, eh, buenas condiciones y y muy bien preparado, le voy a voy a tener todo el ritmo de, de los primer round hasta el último el mismo ritmo y no va a poder boxear se va a tener que parar uh yes you're right I, i was able to force him i was able to force him to fight to stand and fight it had a lot to do with conditioning um the the, the times when he decided to box is because i let him i let him get away i let him be able to box and move Uh, I think that I was I did well in forcing him to fight because of the pressure I put on. This time around, I'm not going to get tired. I'm going to be on him from the opening bell for the entire fight, and I think that's going to force him to fight. No creo que Mayweather cuando se queda se para se queda contra las cuerdas ahí yo puedo aprovechar a hacer mi trabajo y bueno en la primera pelea no lo hice porque Estuve muy ansioso, me encimé mucho, no no le di recorrido a los golpes que que, que vayan con fuerza y, y no pude hacerle daño. Uh, de, deja traducir eso. The question the the question was now that you know Mayweather, you fought him the first fight. What can you do to benefit him? You know, to benefit you in this fight. It's going to work for you in this fight. And the answer was, you know, pressuring him, pressuring him. When I was able to pressure him. Uh, the first fight and get him in the ropes and fight with him, make him fight. Uh, I did very, very well. Uh, you know, whenever he moved, uh, that's when I had problems with him. But this fight, this, for this fight here, I want him to stand and fight like a man. En esta pelea, segunda pelea, voy muy tranquilo. Sé que que Floyd Mayweather no 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 es lo que parece. Eh, es muy gran es un gran boxeador, pero no yo no le tengo respeto, así que mejor que la primera yeah the question the quest the question is uh this fight you know obviously uh are you think you're gonna be able to intimidate him um you think you're gonna be able to do things to make him fight and he said yeah you know this fight i'm not gonna respect him i'm not gonna respect him i'm gonna go at him and i want him to fight fight like a man stop crying like a little bitch and fight la verdad que tienen derecho a pensar lo que quieran eh no le puedo decir nada, lo único que, que digo es que, que bueno, que yo voy a hacer mi trabajo y a, a, a tratar de ganar y, y a dejar todo ahí arriba del ring. Y también quiero decirle a Mayweather que se pare, que pelee como hombre y que si me tiene que ganar, que me gane como como un gran campeón que es, como invicto, como libra por libra que es, que me gane como como tiene que ser para que la gente crea en él. Okay, um, the 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 question the question was uh, you know what can you do in this second fight to make it better, um, <clears throat> to make him fight you to stand and fight and the answer was uh, you know hey I'm gonna do my job I'm gonna come to fight I want him to, I want him to come and you know to fight to fight to stand and fight like a man don't be a little bitch like a woman run around come and fight like a man stand and fight me you hope he stands and fights with you fights like a man um, I'm wondering. How do you see yourself winning a fight if he doesn't do that? If he runs away from you more, if he tries to stay away and just simply box, can you see yourself winning a fight if he just completely tries to stay away through the whole fight? En esta en esta llamada has dicho varias veces que ojalá se quede a pelear con un como un hombre que no que no corra como una vieja. Este, si él va va a correr. ¿Tú crees que es posible que puedas ganar esta pelea? Bueno, eh, yo me estoy preparando para que para hacer lo que sea sobre el ring, 
si corre lo voy a le voy a cerrar la algo camino y bueno si tengo que pelear me peleo eh, estoy muy bien preparado para lo que sea como salga él le voy a hacer pelea uh, he said he said that look he's preparing for anything he's preparing for anything he hopes that he stands and fights that he's going to stand and fight. But if he's going to run like a little bitch, he's going to have to chase him all all around. And he's prepared to do that. Bueno, yo creo que, que si uno lo deja cambiar, puede cambiar. Pero yo voy a salir a atacar, atacar todo el tiempo. Cosa que él se pare o que corra como una, como una pinche vieja. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, you know... Um, Yeah, I'm sure that, you know, for this second fight, he can come out and fight differently, have a different game plan. Um, I'm not going to change. I'm going to come and I'm going to put the pressure on and I'm going to try to force him to fight. Uh, I'm hoping again that he doesn't start running like a little bitch all over the ring. 